Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you guys how to design or how to apply this blow glass effect in Corel Draw. I don't know what they call it anyway, but it's kind of blurry in some design. Now, some of you might have come across this kind of effect, all right? And most of you might not know how to apply it to your designs in CorelDRAW. You can also do it in Photoshop. And also, I'm going to show you how to do it in CorelDRAW as a CorelDRAW user. So if you're new to this channel, please watch this video to the very end so you understand understand every bit of what i'm going to teach you guys in this video all right don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell icon and um stick to this video so let's get straight to it so this is the model which i'm going to be using for this tutorial and um if you're trying to apply this to your design there are basic tricks you're going to use to do this all right so first of all what you're going to do is you're going to um bring in your rectangle tool so let's assume you want to apply the effect to this particular or um, to this particular space all right this this part of the of the design all right so what you're going to do is select your um shape tool all right then what you're going to do is basically hold any of this node as you can see i'm pointing at it it's called node all right let me zoom in so you can see so hold any of this node and drag this way to have a round corner shape all right so right about that what you're going to do is you can drop the tool using your pick tool then come over to your um color and um let's give it a white color so you can see so now let me remove the color so what you're going to do is give it a white outline by right clicking on any of the uh, of the color but normally use white so now i'm going to duplicate this effect so i'm going to duplicate this um box we created by bringing it to this part and leave that over there so what you're going to do is now you're going to copy that is you're going to copy this image all right just make sure it points you point it to the right direction where you want to get the effects all right now once you copy it paste it again to duplicate it making it two all right so what you're going to do is you're going to copy sorry you're going to come to bitmap convert it to bitmap make sure it's on rgb then resolution 300 then click on ok so once you do that you can come over to um effects select blur all right or basically what you're going to do is first of all copy it then you can right click and select power clip all right then power clip it into this frame over here then right click and select edit power clip watch carefully guys then paste it just the same position where you copied it from the beginning all right now come over to this effect select blow select gaussian blow all right so once you do that you can increase this to this spot just blow it to this spot any any uh, form of um results you get and you think you're okay with it but i think i'm okay with this 22.2 .2 pixels depends on the large on how large the design is or the the background is then click on okay now click on finish now you can see we have gotten to the very first step now I remove the uh, white outline which you have here just come over to this thumbnail over here this one over here and remove it now come over to your shadow tool now apply a shadow to this now you can basically come to your fair drain over here and put that to maybe 25 all right so it's gonna spread perfectly well all right or you can increase it decrease this way or increase this way all right so this is basically what you're going to have so the next thing you're going to do is now we have gotten the effects you can reduce this to 20 the 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 shadow to 20 all right then select this one we kept aside hold shift then select this one also making your selected two of this now press letter c then letter e to align it all right so what you're going to do is come over to your um thumbnail your outline thumbnail 
double click on it to get your outline pen now you can increase the weight all right increase the weight of this to maybe 1.1.5 1. 1. all right then click on ok now what you're going to do is you're going to select this um, transparency tool all right then fed out this and um, leave this to this basically so it's going to look as if it is reflecting all right so this is basically what you're going to have so the next thing you're going to do is you can basically um select your shadow break it apart and um let's remove this one here and um first of all let's come over to our effects you can add noise to it or before you can apply that what you're going to do is convert it to bitmap all right you can choose to leave it this way or convert to bitmap and you can choose to add noise to read to the background you can add noise this way all right you can increase this density all right you can increase the density and um, click on ok now select this select this and put it this way now if you zoom in you can see how it's looking as if it's a glass um effects like you can see through you cannot perfectly see through the glass but this is how it's gonna come i believe most of you have basically you know um seen this in some of your design or some of the design you've come across you can actually now add your text over here and say maybe blur glass effects so i believe some of you might have seen this and um, this is basically what you're going to have all right so you can add your text maybe put it over here and add some basic text i'm just showing you guys maybe you can just put a text in this video i will show you how how to um get a blur glass effect in color draw so let's assume these are basic text you want to apply to your design you can just leave this over there so i believe some of you might have seen this kind of effect in some designs and this is how it was generated or it was gotten so if you have any question please drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video